Well, we've got a few remaining, but still. Coffee remains is one of the, the most squashed thing on the planet. Old coffee, yeah. Nothing like fresh coffee. stand in the way of a good coffee. put some more water into this because well I'm going through all of it. Sorry uh, I, I Rasta I can't read from uh, this far. Uh, so uh, hold on to that thought. So what are you telling me? Uh, zero sugar. Do you want some? <laughs> uh, Rasaban, do you want some coffee? <laughs> I made a ton. Well, a ton is uh, discreditable because it's a small coffee machine. It's a uh, four doses, but it's uh, like a European dosage, so for us, uh, our mug, it's like uh, two. <laughs> but I, I, I'm having my coffee black and I hold to that. It's very weird how water is giving me energy. I'm gonna keep this ear uh, clean because I, I want to hear the oven when he starts reheating. Preheating? <laughs> so it's not ready yet, so I can give you one right now. <laughs> uh, super extreme rapidly post. Call, I call Post Canada, they come right here and they, they flew one flight just to send you the cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, so you've discovered that the real enemy is not Siren but uh, a Reaper called Sovereign. A Spatian warship is a uh, timeless power. Something is usual, Siren is salute from them. The key to uprising near the Reaper invasion. In the galaxy. Oh man, that doesn't say me how to go look. Um, funny thing, uh, if you put the game in French, the name of the enemy is um, um, is um, uh, it's. Uh, Anyway, it's a f it's the name of a farmer. 
but not the one who's taking the crops, uh, the one who are uh, uh, running the farm, I guess. Anyway, and the name of the, the enemy that you fight, um, the, not the, the not like the, not the gas in me, but the reaper in me, is called. Um, well, the name of the people who actually bring the the farm, the the crops. So it's like the 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 the, the recolteur. <laughs> so uh, I was looking I at a video the other day, and um, the, call between and the guy was uh, doing a joke sorry, video sorry, about about that, that. <laughs> and he was saying like, at the end, at the end of the presentation of this army, he said, well, "Fuck, put the game in English right away," <laughs> because the translation of this game is bull crap. Oh my god, this one of the worst. Not the worst, but one of the worst translation of game. Far from the worst, though. <laughs> the French translator should... <laughs> not literally, of course. Of course, not literally. Change job, at least. There is no right choice for something like that. Yeah. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. <laughs> There's just one thing, I don't have my timer anymore. So I'm going to bring it back. 1250 <sighs> Yes, that's right, les moissonneurs. Yes, it's like the um the guy that actually uh, pl uh, that actually put planting crops in French is called the uh, the, uh, the moissonneurs. And uh, the one who are recolting the crops are the les récolteurs. And uh, well, the enemy are, are called the les, les moissonneurs in French, and they are the big head, and the uh, the minions are les récolteurs. So that's uh, one of the worst translation, one of the worst translation I ever saw in my life. Far from the, like I said, far from the, the, the worst actually, but uh, <laughs> that's scratching the ears to hear that thing. Oh. <laughs> Thanks Rasta for bringing that to me. I was I uh, having blank. Shepherd's locker. Mud ball shepherd. Medigel zero. What the fuck? I you took zero Medigel, but you take something. <laughs> been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. <laughs> so I need become to a slave to the that. Reapers and he can't even see it. Yeah. He is trapped inside his own mind. Uh -huh. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but yes. he is powerless to yes. stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow know. stop the Reapers from returning? Or was I think he simply yes. driven by a lust for power and glory? <laughs> I'm too much inside the game, I answer the character. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend hey, don't every blame three me for using about those worlds. It is bad um, enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. You, you had a warning when you first connect to, uh, to this stream saying that it's intended for a mature audience. I didn't want to take any risk. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and myths.
misinformation about my people. I know. Like what? Or not? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting. Nope. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. What? But it is not an essential element of the union. The truth Are we really is discussing we this? <laughs> our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. Wow. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. That actually sounds really nice. <laughs> what happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Sorry, live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? <laughs> Sex? <laughs> As I reversion? We're going to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable. Well, uh, we're at partners. that point of the life, Instead, people. We enjoy talking the time about we sex. And it's even all after they're gone, now. a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? It's kind of a mix she between us and partner. some animals, I guess. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. It's using the right Not for the words. purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. Uh -huh. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. Yeah. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari <coughs> believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing the has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. 